my channel. Today I'm going to talk about being fat. Um, I, I know a lot of people go through this that they believe that they need to look a certain way or they need to be a certain way and when that doesn't happen they go into depression, they feel bad about themselves, they don't feel good about things around them, they become irritated, annoying and all those other things. And I have kind of been through all of that and I have kind of uh, saved myself from being insane and uh, getting all worked up about looking a certain way. So uh, when I was in school, when I, like, when I was little, I was always on the heavier side. I was always, uh, you know, fatter and fatter than my friends, of course. But that time people used to call me like cute and chubby and all those things. And I used to feel, you know what, it's fine. I am not fat. I am chubby. I am cute. I am, you know, I am that pretty golu molu kid, which was fine. As I started growing up, I realized that there is this certain frame and uh, girls are supposed to uh, fit into that frame. They are supposed to look a certain way. They are supposed to you know be a certain way and uh, when I started realizing that it kind of got to me first I am fat second I am dark and third I have curly hair so my hair is like messy and you know it I just can't do anything with them they're okay that's another topic altogether I'll rant about curly hair some other time so basically I noticed that all the things that need to be a certain way are in my case not in that way and that really got to me. What kept me sane was the fact that I was kind of a tomboy if I may call that when I was in school because um, I never got along with girls. I got along with guys more and I still do. I still don't get along with girls a lot as much I do with guys and I'm more comfortable with guys. That's just the way I am. So I started realizing that um, these guys that I used to hang out with started uh, crushing on and started getting attracted to all these other girls in my school who were like a lot prettier and more like thin and all that things and I started realizing that I don't fall into that category. But that didn't affect me because I also got to know that all that they had for those girls was a physical attraction and nothing beyond that. It wasn't love, it wasn't something, you know, from the heart. It was just pure attraction. And uh, that made me realize that, you know what, I don't want that. I would like to be with a guy who loves me, who wants to be with me for the way I am. And my physical appearance shouldn't bother that guy or shouldn't you know shouldn't be a factor in his decision the next thing is society of course my relatives and my neighbors and my everyone that I knew took it like their personal job to remind me every day that I am fat and that I need to do something about it as if I didn't already know that as if I didn't already know that I have to do something about it but the fact that they kept telling me all the time got to my nerves and it's not like a healthy criticism that they give me. It is always like, oh, you know what, you're, you're fat, you need to do something about it. It was always pity. It was always as if it is something bad. Um, I got things like, you know, you should lose weight before you get married or you won't find a guy to get married to or things like that. And I was, I, I honestly used to just listen to them. I never let it bother me but it did kind of like used to make me wonder if I'll never find a guy who will marry me just because I'm fat and uh, it kind of annoyed me that why do we have this one frame or one a certain way that a girl needs to look and if she is not that way she is not perfect but anyway that happened and I, I if that is happening with you I would really just tell you to block those people out just listen to them but don't really let it affect you because they don't know what you're going through and they don't know the trouble of uh, losing weight or how difficult it is to lose weight or how difficult it is to accept that you're not perfect and you need to do something about it and just so that people will start liking you more that is just absurd that is just wrong 
Of course, I tried all the crazy diets that were available because that's what people made me want to do. And um, I really had like bad experience with each of them. I started feeling more annoyed and irritated at people for absolutely no reason. I used to not feel good. I fainted a couple of times. And uh, then I just realized, like, you know what? I need not do all this. I need not make myself go through all this trouble just so that someone else will find me good or someone else will find me beautiful or someone else will find me hot or anything like that. I just didn't think that that was something that I would want to do if someone wants to be with me or someone wants to like me or someone wants to be friends with me or anything like that. That should be because of the person that I am and not just because of the way I look. The next thing that happens is you start losing your self-confidence and that is something that should never happen. I have friends who are fat and who have gone through you know low self-confidence and depression and who just feel that they are not good enough for anything and that is like the worst thing that you can do for yourself because you already have people who are telling you that you know you need to look a certain way you need to be a certain way or you need to do this and that and you're not perfect and if you start telling that to yourself it's not going to lead you anywhere the worst problem comes when we are on the shopping trips and when you don't find things that fit you well i mean that happens with me all the time i don't find things that fit me like perfectly so i always have to take something that is like you know a size uh, bigger or a size smaller but if i buy something that is a size bigger it obviously becomes like a it doesn't fit me well it becomes very flowy and everything if i take something that is a size smaller it will always you know it is too tight for me then you know maybe my boobs pop out or something like that and it just it just never fits me right and that irritates me a lot but that shouldn't really you know uh, affect your self-confidence so that shouldn't make you feel that you know you're you're not good enough or it, you know something is wrong with you all I would like to say to all the people who are watching this that be confident just the way you are if you're fat, thin, tall, short, dark, fair, whatever you are beautiful, you're perfect and just stop cribbing about the way you look you and you will truly just fall in love with yourself. I am sure it feels like if you look a certain way things will be easier for you but that's not true. I am sure that people who are thin also have problems in their life be confident and change only and only if you want to change and not because someone else is telling you that you need to look a certain way no be a better person be nice to people be polite to people and your physical appearance wouldn't matter really it wouldn't matter just focus on being a better person rather than just focusing on being thin um that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. If you like it, then please like the video, subscribe to the channel and uh, yeah, that's it. Bye. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel. It would really mean a lot to me. Also, you can check out my other videos. Just click on them and they will open up in a new tab. You can also follow me on all my other social media. The links are in the description box below. Bye.